What's up guys, Kyle here. Today I wanted to talk about the Aero Precision M4E1 lower. The reason I wanted to talk about this lower today is that I'm currently doing a new uh, build and this is the lower that I'm gonna be using. So I thought I'd just talk a little bit about it, what I like, um, and just some of the other parts that are gonna go along with the lower build. So right away, this is the lower that I have built so far. Um, I live in California, so I'm, I'm gonna have to make this into a featureless build or I'm gonna have to make it into a, um, a maglock build so still trying to figure out where i want to go so this is where i'm at right now so let's get into it so this is the air precision lower uh m4e1 and there's several things i really like about this lower um first is i love that it has a flared magwell so the nice thing about this is it's going to make reloading with your magazines a lot easier um, i do like the looks of it so it's practical it looks good um and uh, yeah, just overall, it's just, it's great. So I really like that addition with this lower. I also really like that it has an integrated trigger guard, which is uh, made into, which is cut into the, uh, to the aluminum, which is really nice. And then they've also kind of shaved out, you know, pieces of the trigger guard metal that you don't really need. So it helps on weight, which is nice as well. And then the other thing that I really like about this uh, lower is that the bolt catch actually has it set to where you have an Allen key or an Allen uh, pen that you can use. So you don't have to worry about trying to stake anything in or uh, using like a little pen and having it hammered in, having to worry about scuffing up your lower, worrying about your paint, all that kind of stuff. So that's really nice. So overall, it's it's a great lower. It's affordable. Uh, it's, I think it goes for around a hundred bucks on average. I bought this guy a while ago and it's just been sitting in my gun safe. So I got mine on sale, I think at the time for like 90 bucks. Right now, with everything going on in the country, with the ammo sort shortage and uh, ammo parts and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's harder to find. So this might be a little more expensive at the moment as I'm making this video. Um, but if you can find it, it's a great lower. It's a good, affordable lower at a great cost. Um, I think you get advantages with this lower that you don't over some of the other, just I would say, mil-spec lowers. Some guys are going to say mil-spec is mil-spec, it doesn't matter. That's all. I kind of agree with that to a degree, but I like this one, like I said specifically, I like having an integrated, um, uh, integrated uh, trigger guard, and I also like you know having a flared magwell, which helps. And the fact that I don't have to worry about scuffing up my lower as I build it, with having the bolt catch, just being able to thread it with an Allen key is also really nice. Um, with that being said, it's a 70, 75 T6 forged aluminum. It is strong, it's made well. I think Aero Precision has a really good, uh, quality control with their products um so with that being said you could save money i'm sure yeah you could get an anderson you could get a psa you can get a lot of these other lowers half the price but uh i i think with aero precision you are just getting a really good quality product um so i highly recommend that too this guy weighs about uh i think it's 8.6 ounces and uh along with that it's uh yeah i guess i can talk a little bit about the other parts going into it right now um i'm building on a budget so i'm not you know, I'm not using a Geisley trigger. I'm not putting anything in super expensive. Uh, I have a DPM MS uh, trigger, uh, lower parts uh, uh, kit as well. I have the uh, Magpul Mo uh, K2 grip. I like this grip more than the standard uh, A2 grip, and I like it more than the uh, standard Mo grip just because it has a little bit, it's more vertical, it's more straight. I don't like it being flared out as well. It's just easier on my wrist. It's just more comfortable to hold. And then for the buffer tube, just a regular, it's a Strike Industries, just mil spec buffer tube. That's all I need. Um, I have a lot of extra parts, so rather than buying new parts, I'm just kind of going with what I already have that's kind of lying around. But um, other than that, yeah, it's been great so far. Um, I should have probably done an actual video on the build, but I did the build one night because I just didn't have much going on. And then after I did, I realized, man, I should have made a video. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that with you guys today. If you guys can pick them up, I highly recommend it. They're great lowers. Um, and yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys can find one. Thanks so much for watching and uh, see you guys next time.